This weekend's race is one Newton City leaders had in mind when the idea of the Speedway came about in the early 2000s. KCCI's Kayla James shows us how the Iowa Speedway came to be. This is the moment people living in Newton have been waiting for. A long time, we've been waiting a long time for this. You always have to believe and hope that it's gonna happen. NASCAR Cup Series first race at the Iowa Speedway, something that was just a dream in Newton 20 years ago by Stan Clement, the Speedway's former president and visionary. I remember one evening we were out at the exit where the Speedway is currently and we're in the field and he said I'm going to build a track here. The 70 million dollar project began in 2004 yeah, with the first race taking place in 2006. A big thank you to the Manat family for building it. The Clement family for running it. And Chaz Allen says the list goes on. Allen was Newton's mayor from 2004 to 2012, a period where the city lost its largest employer in 2007. We had lost Maytag. There was 2,500 jobs. This was kind of a, a shining star to look forward to. And Allen immediately knew he wanted the Iowa Speedway to host a NASCAR Cup race. My first communication with NASCAR were three cease and desist letters from their lawyers. <laughs> Because I kept calling it a NASCAR style track in the media and NASCAR didn't have any part of this so they wanted to protect their, you know, their name from some guy from Newton saying their name. 20 years in the making and it's finally here. The Iowa Speedway's first NASCAR Cup Series race drawing in a crowd. Everybody was excited to get a cup car in here and then we didn't get a cup car. We got all the other ones. so. We're just really excited to have one now. Maytag created us as an visionaries and innovation, but we have now keep going. The Iowa Speedway, bringing in jobs, entertainment, and races. This doesn't work without the fans, and they've shown up. And now the rest, the future of this rests in the hands of the fans. In Newton, Kayla James, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.